Hey guys, let's take a look at volume today. Um, you have seen things like this. Like if you, if you, somebody says to you, how long is this room? You could just measure it and go, oh, you know, well, it's, you know, 30 feet long. There you go. If somebody says to you, what's the area of this room? You're going to go, okay, well, the, the room's 30 feet long. And uh, let me, let's see, I measure it this. Oh, it's 10 feet this way. That's a 10 there. And the area is going to be 30 times 10. That's how many squares are in the room, right? Of one foot by one foot. That's a square foot. And you would say, okay, well, the, the area is 300 feet, but it's not 300 feet long. It's 300 square feet. That's what the little two means. It's two dimensions. When you have volume, you're talking about something that's not just two dimensions, it's three dimensions, right? In other words, this is a, uh, here's a, you know, a square. But if you have a cube, that's a three-dimensional figure. It not only has, you know, it not only has length and width, it has height as well. So that's going to be a three there instead of a two. That's why that's called cubic this whatever, because it's three dimensions. Okay, so length, width, height, and so on. You need to write this down. You ready? Okay, to find volume for these figures, the volume equals the area of the base. The base is like the base of an object. And that is times the height. So make sure you write that down and you know that. The volume of a figure, a regular figure, which we're going to deal with a lot of those, is the area of the base times the height. Now you know this instinctively already, even if you didn't know that formula. Because if somebody says to you, oh, here's a, you know, I don't know, here's a room or something. What's the volume of this room? You go, okay, well, it's a cube. Well, it's, I don't know, uh, let's go 10 uh, high and then 10 this way and then 10 that way. If somebody says to you, we need to fill this thing with cubes, how many cubes are gonna fill up this whole thing? Well, you know that on the bottom layer of this, it's gonna be 10 cubes this way and 10 cubes that way. So there's gonna be 100 cubes on this layer, right? That makes sense? Like if you're looking at a layer and then there's your cubes or whatever, you could figure out, oh, there's the, there's the one layer of cubes, there's 100 cubes. Well, how many layers are there in this thing? Well, there's 10 of them, right? That's how tall the thing is. So the thing is gonna be 10, I mean, excuse me, 100 cubes, but we're, we're gonna have 10 layers of that. So it's gonna be 1,000 cubes. So there you go. The area of the base is 100, we figured that out, times the height, 10, 1,000. That works for everything, right? We'll see a lot of these in the future. So let's look, all right. This rectangle is the base. In other words, this part right here is you know the top or even the base, if you look underneath there, of a right solid whose sides are four centimeters tall. So this thing is four tall. There we go. And of course, this thing is two right there and it's six this way. Find the volume of the solid. Well, if this were a cake, it would be disgusting because it looks horrible. No. Okay. If it were a cake, let's say you're baking this thing, you'd go, okay, well, the, you know, the, the one layer of this cake, how many pieces could you slice if this thing were like, oh, that's just awful. Okay, I'm gonna try, <laughs> that's horrible. Okay, so if you, hit, you did it like this, and this you'd go, okay, well, here's, you know, here's one layer of this cake, you'd slice 12 pieces, right, two by six. But it's not one layer. It's four layers, right? So there's the second layer, there's the third layer, not exactly, you know, even here, but you get the idea, okay? So in other words, you're going, okay, the base is 12. There are, you know, four of these things, so the volume is 48. In other words, if you had to cut this thing into pieces, it'd be 48 pieces. That's what the volume is, three dimensions, okay? In other words, you're, you're gonna put it like this. The, the volume is 48 cubic centimeters with a three to indicate that it's three dimensions. That's what you want to put, okay? This 2D drawing shows a base of a right solid six feet tall. What's the volume? Okay, well, you have to keep telling yourself the volume of some hunk like this is the area of the base times the height. They're gonna give you the height, okay? They tell you it's six feet tall. So, yoink, there's a six. So whatever we find this, you know, the area of this base, we're gonna simply multiply it by six because that's how many layers there are. The question is, what is the area of this thing? Well, that means you're gonna to have to, you know, cut this hunk of junk into two chunks here. So this part here is 24, right? Six times four. This part over here, hmm, we gotta figure this out. Let's make that a right triangle, of course. We know that this thing is six, so this part is 24 right there. 
Okay, this is six because that's six high. This thing is 10 down here. This chunk here is four, which means this over here is also six. From here to here is six. So we know the area of a triangle is half the base times the height. So don't do six times six, just do three times six. So that's gonna be three times six is 18. So this is 18 right here. 24 plus 18 is 42, all right? They're wanting the volume, you ain't got the volume. That's just the area of this thing right here, that's 42. So to find the volume, you need to go, okay, there are six layers of these things. There are six levels of cubes in this thing that is 42. So we have 42 cubes on this level, you know, somehow. You know, if you were to sit there and draw this, it'd be 42 cubes. But there are six of them, so you multiply by six, that's gonna give you 252. And make sure you put, that's gonna be cubic feet, so it's the little FT and the little right there with a little three to indicate that it's volume, not just the length or not just the area. Okay, all right, try the practice problems on page 150. Let's first off, we'll do this and pause it and go ahead and try it. Okay, volume, again, area of the base times the height. The base is 10 by six, that's gonna be 60. If they were asking you for the area of the base and that was it, you would just say, oh, that's gonna be 60 square whatever, feet or whatever they said it is. But they're not, they're asking you the whole volume, like how much can you pour in the whole thing? How many cubes fit into this thing? Well, there are four layers. So you're just gonna multiply by four and the answer is 240, I don't know if it's centimeters, anyway, whatever it is, then a little three to indicate cubic. Okay, let's try this one, pause it and copy. All right, you know, you might look at this and go, ugh, I mean, what is the, you know, I guess the base is, ugh, this is horrible. And frankly, I've, <laughs> I've forgotten. Let me check and see what, uh, what the height of this thing is. Where are we at here? Okay, 12, the height is 12. So I'm just gonna put a 12 right there. So what are we, what are we gonna multiply? I mean, we're gonna multiply by 12. Okay, let's find the area. Well, let's see here. Let's just cut this into two pieces here, right? So this is two by 10, that's gonna be 20. All right, and this will be eight by two, that's gonna be 16. Okay, so this thing is 20 plus 16, which is 36, okay? So we, the area of the base is 36. You multiply that by the height, which is 12, and the answer is 432 and meters. So that'll be cubic meters. And there you go. Okay, pause it and try C. All right. They tell you that this shape is two meters. So let's just chuck a two right there. Okay, let's break this thing up into pieces, a triangle and a uh, rectangle. So six times five is 30, that part. This uh, triangle is five, what is that? Five meters high, all right? And this base of the triangle is gonna be six gone from eight, that's gonna be two. So the area of this triangle will be not five times two, but five times one. So it'll be five. So we got five here, we got 30 there, 35, and the whole thing is two units tall, so it's gonna be 70 cubic meters. And there you go, okay, and that's volume. Okay, good luck with those, and do the best you can, and I'll see you guys next time, bye.